Hey, welcome back everyone to another episode of my Let's Play. But a very different episode, if you couldn't tell. Today is going to be a world tour. Well, wait, we just got a world tour. Yes, I know, but today we are touring this world in depth. Small details, small builds I might have missed. We're slowing it down. So if you weren't aware, we had a world tour on episode... 500 and this one should have been uploaded on episode 501 but i just now thought of it i really rushed episode 500 world tour like i just mainly toured big builds in my world but i want to slow it down today i just want to take you through my whole world just kind of take a look at small things i've done the back rooms you know things you don't normally see just a chillax episode where you can grab your peanut butter and pickles and just watch me tour around my world such as this i place this bush here okay i won't go into that detail <laughs> The good old house. So I'm not going to really explain big builds. I'm probably just gonna go through and just explain little things and probably just find little builds I might've missed. I think that'll be pretty fun. Oh, here's an old house building material chest that is definitely not house building material anymore. This is a problem of mine. I just throw junk in chests and now it's just a junk chest. Funny enough, I used to have a cobble dump right here and I still do, but I'm now turning it into a trash dump. So I just throw anything down here that is literally garbage, such as this stuff, poisonous potato, garbage. And if you were not aware that all funnels down into my sewers, I have a little section right here. I uh, used to be the cobble dump, now it's a trash dump. So yeah, this is just now where trash goes. I don't really know what you consider trash in this world, but I'm sure I'll throw anything that's useless down there. But yeah, I don't, these sewers, I really want to start doing more in. I built these a while ago. This actually used to be a break in the wall that used to take us to our portal room. But I wanted these to be expansive down here. And then we kind of had to stop because I made this giant sewer. But this is going to be remodeled soon as well, surprisingly. So yeah, this is the main room of my house, as many of you may know. But I never talk about the details in here, such as like this shelf. Here's an old map of our museum around the beginning stages when we were just finishing the roof that was when we actually used the nether ward block as the roof before we changed it to copper but up here i got like really fast brewing stations you know you just put the stuff you want in order in this barrel and it'll all cook up for you that's actually really handy i use that a lot and that's what's in this chest right here just brewing supplies this was made so long ago to the point i think that's a music artist didn't it i heard this music artist name one day and I thought it was interesting, and I had a fish in my hand, and I literally just named the fish Fatboy Slim. These signs here as well, a lot of people ask sometimes, oh, not a lot. So if I see a few questions every once in a while, what are those? This was my first storage room. There used to be a wall right here of terracotta. Nothing was over here, because this was the first section of my house. I had chests right here, and this is where our, fir our very first storage room was. I keep skulls up there. Why not? I covered some of this stuff. Oh, here's where I do my CD collection area. One unique thing I really love about my world are these tubes right here. They're now my fish tanks. I wonder if my salmon... Wait. I knew the salmon disappeared, but I thought I put an axolotl in here. Or axolotl, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Did that disappear too? I hope not. Maybe Sniffles ate it. I'm in here a lot throughout my episodes. I'm in here probably every episode because I usually have to repair something or just build a new tool. But to give you guys an in-depth tour of this area, um, such as this up here, if you saw by the signs, these are ready to enchant stuff. So this is stuff that I could use to combine with things. I don't put stuff in here that needs to be repaired. Obviously that has repairs on it. All the stuff that needs to be repaired is in here. Over here, I usually just put lesser armor repairs. It's just like small stuff like that. And over here is literally the chest I put stuff in that I have no idea what to do with. It's just here. And these serve no different purpose. These are just repairs that are put out in the open. I actually want to try something with you guys here. Over here is my very, one of the earliest, earliest projects in this world next to the cactus farm. And that was my egg farm. This used to be where chickens would, f I, I explain this all the time, but one thing I never really try is to see if it works anymore. So it stopped working at one point because I think chickens got smart enough to float down. If this thing works again, I'm literally going to use this. That would be the coolest thing ever. Grow up for me. Oh, now I'm all wet. Wait a minute, I used to have a layer of signs under here. So maybe it, it won't work actually now that I think of it. Well, they're stuck in here now. That was the chicken farm. 
Oh, Jesus. I never really show this either for some reason, uh, but this is just a simple map wall. This is just a zero to four scale. I believe this is a two to four scale or three to four. No, it's two to four. But I try to keep these ones updated at all times, but they are severely outdated. And I don't know if I want to change them. I feel like I should, these should be like a screen capture of an older time in the world. As you can see, this whole area is all brown now. Yeah, I should probably update them because it's in the middle of my world. Right here, Rip Shivers. Uh, <laughs> one time I was sleeping in my bed. We just got a skeleton horse. I loved that horse, but I slept here one day and the creeper blew us up. Rest in peace, Shivers. Speaking of Shivers, I never really go into detail of my graveyard. Each and every one of these animals are and were living creatures and pets in my world. These blank signs, a lot of these are just random. I built this whole cemetery before these started being placed, but like, for example, Max and Riley, I remember these guys. They don't have birth and death dates on here because they were very early dogs and I think they just disappeared one day. So that's why they are like that. Daisy, that was a dog I kept on a leash forever. I think <laughs> she died by a thorn bush. Shivers, we just talked about that. Blue. That was my dog named Blue. Died by a skeleton with a bow in the cactus farm. Ooh, my house looks cool from here. That cloud looks like a whale with a deformed head. Over here we have Buster. This was an old dog. I believe he died to a creeper explosion. Liam died with me in a desert temple trap. He ignited it. He teleported down there. Lil Pete, that was my first snow golem. Derpy, that was a snow golem that made amazing cookies. Is that a ghost? One of my dogs? George was an iron golem that I kept in my house. Ollie was another one of my dogs. I think he also died by a creeper. Terry that was another iron golem in my house. Admiral was my first horse ever. My game crashed and we were far away taking a horse adventure and he just despawned and I got trapped out in the middle of nowhere. Who's this? Oh, Oinkers. I was obviously a pig with a saddle I had for a while. This massive one is dedicated to all of these that died in the beta disappearances, which really sucked. And as many of you may know, this was my first ever dog in this world that died on that date. We got it on July 15th, which now reminds me, did I ever fix this book? Oh, I didn't, dang it. We used to write down the pets that died and how they died. I'm gonna have to go back and revise that. There's a small thing a lot of people might not really know about, unless you just watch me on the regular. I made a little crypt section. This was the idea how I made all my cr new crypts. This was like the beginning idea, what inspired me to do it. There's a small little crypt room under the church, the big hole. Back behind the church here, I do have a map wall. <laughs> I made this to show this road. This is Mesa Road because my house would be like right down here. The road would travel through this way, come up, and this takes us to our Mesa Biome where I gather all my terracotta. But this is an old map. There's spawn right there. If you didn't know, I spawned on that brown mushroom, but ever since my world seed got changed to zero, which really sucked, happened in an update, my world spawn got changed to somewhere right in here. Another thing you guys might not know about, if we head over this way, there's this cave, no, not a cave, it's more of a tunnel that I made because I was making a statue in here a long, long time ago to dedicate to a subscriber goal. This has been here forever and I never show it. You know what I think we should do? I think I should finish this and dedicate this to, we're about to reach 450,000 subs. Maybe I'll just do that. I think that'd be a nice thing to dedicate it to considering of how long this has been here and not been finished. As you may know, we have a retirement wall. We don't break our tools. I never really show each and every tool that's on here. For some reason, I never stop and look myself. Ooh, turbo silk. I think that's an old one. Bob the pick, that's an old one. Silky spade. Mine! Trusty axe. Quartz generator. World <laughs> I've got so many tools back at home that are at level 33 repair, so soon we're gonna be stacking that up. I wonder if that canal I dug is still over here. Oh yeah, right here. But then our world got corrupted and I forgot all about this. Ooh, iron. Yep, there's the corruption. I covered it up, obviously, but I was going to connect my blue lagoon. Actually, what was I doing? There might have been water over there and I was trying to connect this to this. This is my blue lagoon. You guys don't really see a whole lot of this. 
but it was just a little natural lake here that I turned into a little tropical scene that I never ever come to. Plus this little guy, <laughs> built this so long ago. Wow, so cool. Looks like a, something you'd find at a village or something. Some old stuff, anything useful? Not really. Some random armor on an armor stand. Okay, Dallas. We have a hammock here on this little island I made. I wonder if there was anything in here. Nope. Oh yeah, I forgot. I was gonna make a tiki head right here out of stone, but I never did. Oh, I just turned it into like a little cave with a fire. <laughs> Got a dock here as well. I fish off of this sometimes. You know what? No. No would be better. These. These look way better. At least I think. Oh yeah, I've never even made one of these yet. I don't think I have. Oh, these are cool. Back over at home. I have a giant mine right here. This actually just used to be a huge natural cave. Um, but then I went through and just splashed in some stone and cobblestone and added some staircases and these false entrances and made it look like a mining operation. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I was planning on actually using it, but a lot of these entrances don't really lead anywhere, I guess. And it also gets into parts of my world where I have lots of builds, so I can't really do that a whole lot. It's got a sewer right there. But I think I've explored most of these caves, so it's really just for looks now. Got lots of these wagons throughout my world. This one made it look like I'm putting some hay out. But as time progresses in my world, I like making it look like we advanced with our technology. So soon, in different places, mainly the factory and the lab, I want to start building forklifts and machines that are carrying large things everywhere. Here's another one. But maybe out in my wasteland bound, build a dump truck carrying, ooh, yeah, a dump truck carrying a large load of rock or dirt. Here's an old thing. I used to come here just to do this. This is my old vine farm. Ooh, I need to do this more often. I like mixing up the crops like this. Just looks unorganized, but kind of nice. Over here, don't really show this either. This is an old coal and natural resources mine. I have one on the opposite end of my world too, um, the front of my house. That's a cool view of the house too. Sweet, Jesus. But yeah, I blocked this off because when we were building our metro, um, it went through it. Wow, I closed that down six years ago. What about the mansion here? Did I miss anything in here really? Got a trap door. Deadly dog! Yeah, I fell in. Now I'm trapped. Help! Bob, help! I built this place, so I know how to get out. Oh no! The door is shut! Aha! A ladder. This leads down into the bowels of my world. Um, not a whole lot to show down here, but I did it at doors because of situations like that. I even have a little conservatory right here. Oh no! Trapdoor mess. I haven't been down here in a while. This mansion has all kinds of storage, such as little rooms like this. I have barrels in here, just like, if I actually ever... I need to start storing stuff here. I mean, this is part of my house. This is what I always call the luxury part of my house, such as here, for example, too. Small little closet you could use. Did we, oh uh, yeah, didn't furnish this one yet, but I did furnish this one. I liked how this room turned out right here, because we got some mirrors. I guess it's like a girl's room. This one even has a closet, too. This room is above my office. I didn't know what to do with it, and it's quite simply just an attic slash storage room. And you know what? I completely forgot about this. There is something down here. Look at this. I remember we were going to do something with this, but I never did. I was thinking about putting a redstone contraption here, maybe a doorbell or something, but I don't I don't know what to do with this. I guess that's why it's still empty. How do I get out of here? Go down this way. <laughs> now we're in my office. This too, like an old wall of projects. That's what this was gonna be. I had these all over my world at one point. Not all over, but I liked doing these signs set up like this. I have crop mule on here. I think at one point I wanted just to have a mule that carries crops. Interesting concept, Dallas. But speaking of project walls, we have three of them in our world and we never use them anymore. So we're gonna go to our latest one all the way to our oldest one. Our latest one, all we have to do is fly this way, do a little turn, and land right here. Training arena, village road, woodland, okay. I used to do percentages too. Villager homes, that's just completely abandoned. I need to update this, badly. I actually did that 
I basically did that. Didn't do that. I guess I did that. I did, I guess did that too. Hey, I mean, that's at like 80% now. 90 maybe. New flower garden. I did that. I never did that. Wow, we should probably still do that. Stone making room. Hey, I did do that. We just recently did that. Study, gear room, picture room. What? I think our second oldest one lies down here because the floor of the sewer used to be at this level right here. I just have it covered up now. Yeah, so here's all some old ideas. And I think the oldest, oldest one is in here because I have an episode called Project Rebirth. I think it was from after taking a break for too long, I came back and these are the things I wanted to do to get my world back in order. Gosh, this place down here, I always, I've always loved this place. I even got a little, this is where we were expanding in the future, but I never did. Yeah, just ended it here. Whoa, what the? But yeah, for example, over here, Wait, why did I have it on both sides? That seems odd. But I had a lock on this, so... Because I wanted to make this place super secure. I mean, after all, this is where I had my vaults down here. I even have a little secret room right here. <laughs> With a little bed. Oh, I've been hurting for stone lately. Might as well just move this whole thing. <laughs> The main reason I'm gonna be remodeling this place again, it's gonna stay somewhat the same, I'm just gonna make it look better, is because it was mainly designed around the floor being around this height. So a lot of my entrances, such as right here, are way too high. And I just gotta change that. You gotta make it all flow together. For example, right here. I've, I haven't shown this off in a long time, but this is my old private library. Oh, look at that fireplace. Oh, I remember I had an episode where I told a story in here once. I couldn't even tell you what episode number that was. Even got an enchantment set up. Did I show this? I think I showed this. Oh, wow. I have a whole beacon here. I need to collect this up because, yeah, I didn't realize our new expansion of the house covers up this old beacon hole. This is a lot of gold. Even though last episode, we just got a lot of gold and iron. I just noticed something really strange. So I have these tracks that run across most of my pipes in here. And this is simply for looks. It goes down there, it bounces out of the wall, comes back down here and bounces out of the wall. Just go back and forth, makes the place look busy, but there's no minecart with chess up there. I don't know what happened to it. Guess I'm just gonna have to fix that. Ugh. There we go. I guess we'll find out if it lasts. Okay, it's all working again. Another thing, I have four guards in this facility. I don't think they're all alive. Okay, guard SC1, and I, also, I gotta check up on them. Oh, there's a chance they could have went in rooms like this. Can't go in here. Ha <laughs> ha. That's why buttons there, so we can't get out. God, who built this place so big? It's too big. I just... How? Okay, we just collected so much quartz. I need to finish this hallway. This is unacceptable. Almost our, all of our lab is complete now, except for... How have I gone so long without fixing this? That blows my mind. This right here, too. This was going to be a huge expansion of the lab. We got a piston door here. What the heck? Is that a working piston door? Uh, no, didn't put the redstone in yet. But right here, I used to have a big grass patchling out here. I was going to have a long, long hallway out this way, and that was going to have different rooms showing off each different biomes. But it wouldn't really work because this is all mountain colored grass. Wow. I only have one guard left. I, had, I placed four of them. I'm telling you, I think a lot of them despawned. Huh, that's a shame. If y'all haven't seen my episode called Security, we are finally making this place look new again. Finally, after all these years, we're gonna get rid of these big blast doors. I know it looks cool, but I like my world moving with the times, so it's about time we fix this up and use this part of the lab. Plus, it's right under the new outdoor expansion. Ooh, this is two. Maybe we can find a way to connect this to the new lab outside. See, I absolutely love the way this place looks just like this, like just the dirt and cobwebs, to the point where I don't know if I'd want to fix this up. Because this vibe, it, yeah, I don't think so. I think we're just gonna let it die like this, like we never come here again. Just leave the past in the past. So, might as well seal it off. Small detail about my city. I do have a back alleyway. 
I'm sure you guys know about this. I want to bring it to like more life back here. I don't know how I would do that. I think I want to make it just a rough spot, kind of like Jasper here. Like he he sells some really good stuff and stuff by just just good stuff. I, I mean, I don't have to go into detail, but I should maybe even make doors into this and make, make like a, almost like a homeless or poor area in my world. Where the poor villagers go, the ones I don't hire to work in my labs. <laughs> That's terrible, but also got a little hunting cabin out here. I built this for when I want to go away for a bit and hunt, um, but I ended up giving it to, what the? Simple Rick, who sleeps during the day. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's pretty much all that's here. Well, actually, oh, forgot, Simple Rick lives here. Gotta keep him inside. Got a little butchering area over here. What do I got around back? A boat, up, did it work? Oh, perfect. This is my let's play test world, so I'm able to go into creative on this one. Uh, but obviously, never really tore these, which are my bases thousands of blocks away. As you can tell, this one's almost, well, 20,000 blocks away. But this was a vacation place that we went to. Did I tore this? I can't remember. Oh, I left an ender chest here? That's not good. <coughs> but yeah, you know this place. We've been here a few times, but I ended up coming back here too, but I was like, I'm just not feeling it. So I grabbed all the useful stuff and I simply left. But as you can see, the whole idea was to make it look like I carved this whole place out with just my pickaxe. I kind of liked the idea of that. Two, six, six, zero. Teleport. Ooh, right on my tractor. Oh, look at that. Oh, my snow plow. This is how I got here. <laughs> we made this on actually episode 490. My little igloo. Oh, there's a date. Igloo outpost owned by Dallas. Oh, I made that at the beginning of the year. What did we do here again? Oh. oh, I think I was just itching to get away for a bit. What? Why not leave emeralds here? We have another travel to get here. That's good. But this place is pretty cool. We were in some new terrain. 157. Teleport. Oh, look, the moon. Hey, Bob. What's going on? Never managed to show this in the world tours either. Simply my guardian farm. I only come out here when I really need XP or want to get my favorite block in the game, one of my favorites, sea lanterns. But it's a trident killer. Um, and we plan to come out here soon and rebuild this. But the one of the, I mean, simply one of the coolest things about this base is down here. No, not the geode. Water. No, I'm just kidding. You need a night vision potion. Why do you need night vision? Well, you're about to see. That is if you haven't seen this before. Um, I didn't know what that was when we came here for the first time and I just went down. I was very scared. And then I updated some blocks, which updated this water to fall down. And we soon discovered this insane place. Which was very scary to travel through with Elytra Wings, but we managed to do it. But this is when Caves and Cliffs came, and it just didn't update to this part of the world. It didn't. It got rid of the bedrock, but forgot to put the caves, which is very strange. Oh, I know why this happened now. We got a version of the update that they were still testing on. So this was at the time where they didn't fully update it down here. So they simply added in deep slate mixed in with stone at the normal level. As you notice, right here is zero. So this was our caves and cliffs before they fully introduced it. And I was stupid enough to load it in my world into beta. So I got this very glitched out terrain. And now, as you can see, you can see the chunks where it was finally fully added. <laughs> and now it's trying to do this crazy transition where this is the even newer final edition of Caves and Cliffs, and it's got this technology that tries to make it seamless, so it adds stone down here. It's just a very unique situation, and I'm pretty sure I'm like the only world in existence, I believe that thoroughly, that has this. If not, show me screenshots on Twitter. I'd be very surprised if you had this too. Because to get this, you have to be playing on all versions of all the betas, load them at the right times. It's very strange. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at all those diamonds. Look at all the ore, oh, 
So I'm still thinking about coming back here and building something here. That's the thing I haven't decided yet because what do you build in this, you know? I thought of maybe hanging something from the ceiling. I thought about bringing like a spaceship that floats. But whatever we end up doing, I'm going to want to scaffold these walls and just like make a mining operation. Make it look like this is some unique thing that happened to my world, which it is. It's in my world, so I'm going to take advantage of it. Just look at this. What am I even looking at? I will admit that pattern on the ceiling is pretty satisfying. Oh man, I'm seeing areas we have not explored yet, way back there. Perhaps we should come out here next episode because I'm not, I shouldn't be allowed to be doing this right now. We need to leave. One last thing, I found an entrance outside into it. Whoops. But this obviously leads over here to this magnificent terrain. Speaking of, we actually have a base out here that I never tour in my world tours because it's so far away. Right there, as you can see. We came out here once we discovered this and built these little like barrel homes and I thought these turned out pretty cool um don't come out here any oh I want to bring those maps home oh yeah that'd be cool I need to bring some of those back to the normal world here I got a little pumpkin farm and this one's unique because it got some pickles to <laughs> look like the stem we also got small pumpkins faces in the back but no those are on armor stands so it looks like smaller pumpkins and you could even do that trick here. Made a little wheelbarrow. You push down the composter with a piston on top of an armor stand with a pumpkin on it, on a slab, one block into the ground. It's kind of complicated, but the end result's pretty cool. Here's a statue for 15,000 subscriber goal. Reached in 2016? Wow. Just a nice little fountain. This was once a chicken pen. Chickens don't jump over trap doors. Can you believe that? That's actually something I learned late into the game. So you can make a pin like this. Java, you can actually put an item frame down and then put an egg in that item frame. And when you place this dead coral, it looks like a little nest with an egg in it. Weird little areas like this is what I really should get rid of, but I just don't. Yeah, I believe these are here because we that's when we started building the greenhouses, I think. Used to be one right there. But I just never got rid of these because there's certain things in my world that stay in the area they're in when they don't really need to. Like, this is what you'd clean up afterwards. But if they stay for too long, the longer they stay, I'm like, okay, it's been there for so long, I don't want to move it. It's like nostalgic. And even, so look, the old stone cutter here. Still got one. Here's a mysterious black banner when we got banners, I think. I was messing around with them. And this thing cannot be picked up, moved, or whatever. It's just here forever. I think I've even broke this block and tried to pick it up. It's just a glitched banner. <laughs> Here's something I don't really cover ever. Uh, they have a staircase down into one of these naturally opened rooms. You know, these you find in caves every once in a while. You know what? Funny story about these open cave areas. The entrance to my sewer hub right over there is actually one of those. Um, I just got inspired by the circleness and made it into that sewer entrance. <laughs> um, but yeah, this leads to an expansion of the underground area that I never ended up touching. Uh, skeleton tube kind of came through here. What's all this? Uh, but it comes down this way. This was going to connect to the underground base. Oh, no, no. Oh, got some stone in there. I need stone. This was going to lead down to our vault system. I was... <laughs> Gonna have piston doors here, and this was, they were gonna be these little rooms, and this was gonna hold like gold, for example, iron. They went over this way some, but as you can see, we broke into stuff. But that was, that's a silly idea now that I think of it. What's this? Oh, breaks into here. You know what I should do? I love this giant barrel. I need to put some bottles in here. Just a thought. I love random stuff throughout my world. Like these barrels, for example. I want stuff to be in here. Is that weird? Sticks. Chest with lava. <laughs> what years did you start playing Minecraft Pocket Edition? 2012. Craziest dream ever. You know what? This is like probably from 2015 or something when I answered this, or 14. But I remember what I answered. Me. In a cardboard city. I'm a pea. You know, the green rolly thing. Rolling down 
the cardboard sidewalk. And then a big monster appears out of nowhere and starts eating uh, everyone up. We're all peas. So I roll away. That's my craziest dream. No, look at that. Mind crack or hermit craft? I definitely would have picked mind crack. That was my first SMP I watched all the time. The original ones like Vintage Beef and Etho, Doc was on those. <laughs> I answered some basic questions back then. Favorite color? Blue. And then here, these are the ones I was going to do before I did Comic Question of the Day. I think it was, it was weird. Harrison Marshall, Stone Brick. Okay, so this is when I asked you guys questions, and then Harrison Marshall said, I think that was like what your favorite building block is. He might have said Stone Brick. What's this? Riley, the Blue Slimer. What? Maybe he named one of my dogs. Riley's one that died. What did you have for breakfast? I don't remember. What did I have today? Oh, peanut butter sandwich. Always carry your water bucket. Don't do that, that's scary. What else could I show you? Huh, look, another stone cutter. I don't know why I keep these carpets here, honestly. These carpets have been here since, er, since I expanded this house up when I just started throwing decorations in here. No idea why I put blue carpet there. I think it's like to rest my feet on when I was working <laughs> with the stone cutter here. And this was just for when I was staring off into the distance. Funny how those things just stay. Oh look, another stone cutter. They're kind of all over the place when you start looking for them. We gotta do something with this place. I'm, I am I never come in here anymore and I'm tired of it being useless. Just a, you know how big of a plot of land this is taking up? It's unbelievable how big. Not saying I'm going to destroy it. Oh, hey, look, another stone cutter. <laughs> this is old too, that's why I don't move it. Survival Lab building ground, I put all this here when I was starting to build the place. Oh yeah, can you believe I made it out of stone brick first, then I switched to this? But if I imagine it gone, the possibilities of what to put here are endless. This is just a giant section, but I sadly can't get rid of it, but I do need to remodel it somehow. I just don't know how to do that without changing too much. Minecraft is a hard game, okay? My little fishing hut. Did I show this? I think I did. Uh, I can't really think of anything else to show you guys. I just wanted to do a small in-depth video uh, just showing other things in my world. You know, the smaller things, because I felt like I rushed through that world tour, and I feel like I really didn't show what I wanted to show in this either, so that's just... Grand, great, wonderful. Here's a little shipping dock. Did I show this? This is old. I used to have a Viking ship here. Um, these are some... Oh, got some TNT. Oh, I don't want to look at that. What's in here? What the? It's a lot of iron. Okay. I got my cow out here. Found that in the river not too long ago. Actually, it was a while ago. There's a portal down there. <gasps> what if we ignited it and went in? It would probably take us to our... <laughs> Nether hub, probably. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this one here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was different. Just walking around, talking, enjoying the time with you guys. Uh, but next episode, we gotta get back to work. And I got some builds cooking up, so I'll see you there. Oh, can I cover this in my world tour? My little hobbit homes? That I'm not crazy about, to be honest. I mean, they're just random. Like, I like things having a purpose in my world. They're cool, but they're just random. That's going to be it. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.